Hello everybody and welcome to Stylish Grease Monkey. It's still winter and it's still my favorite time of the year to wear boots. So let's talk about a comparison between two of my favorite boots. It is safe for me to say that I can compare these two great boots because I've owned them for a while now. And this is like maybe a review and a comparison between Thursday boots, the captain, and Red Wing boots, the Iron Rangers. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you what my favorite of the two is, but I'm gonna give you pros and cons between the two. So just to let you know what I think about them with all these years of use. First, I wanna talk about the pros and cons of the Iron Rangers. So the pros are, for me, the pros are, first, it's a tradition of Americana. It's one of the only boots still made in the USA. It's made in Red Wing, Minnesota. And one of these days I wanna go and visit the uh, facility just to see, you know, how the men or women are if they've really stuck to the roots of the Red Wing boots. Uh, you know this was made back for the miners of the day uh, and, and it still kept its form uh, with better soles. So, Tradition of Americana. The second one, the second pros of the Red Wing boots is that it epitomized the real work boots I am used to. When I joined the Navy back in 1991, I was issued a pair of eight inch leather boots. It was black, it was cap toes, just like the Iron Rangers is. And uh, it was made of real leather. It was tough, it was steel-toed. I swear to God that Red Wing made those boots. I wish I would have kept one of them by now because the more boots like that age, the more it has become stylish and the more it has become just cool, you know, full of history, full of um, story and the scars that it bears all throughout the years. That's why I'm keeping my Red Wings right now and wearing them as much as I can so I can have that same form, that same history and tradition with my own boots. The last pros of the Red Wing Iron Ranger is that it's made of real leather. You know, inside and out, the tongue, the sides, it's stitched together. The only thing that's not leather is the sole, but the sole is made out of this material called the Vibram or Vibram. I know that, mo that we've seen this in many shoes, uh, I think it's called the Vibram 360 and it's very, very hard. It is very good in wet and oily environments. It's very grippy and it lasts forever. So let's go to the cons of the Iron Rangers. The first con of the Iron Ranger, it is an expensive pair of work boots. At 330 bucks, currently the price is 330 bucks. I think that's very expensive, you know. I like to use my work boots for work and 330 bucks is like, ouch, you know. Uh, I mean, yes, I bought one and I think 90% of the people that bought Iron Rangers, they kind of just wear it for style. They wear it, take a picture, put it on Pinterest, but it's not really being used for work, you know. So I bought mine to use for work, ride my Harley and be in my shop working. That is how you create all of the scars that it needs to just being part of your life. The next one is a painful experience. Here's what I mean by that. When I first bought my Iron Rangers, it took me months before it adjusted to my feet. There were, there were times where I wanted to take it off because it was just so painful. The leather, the leather they use is really, really hard and it takes some time for you, the oils of your feet to make the leather soft. But once it becomes soft, it does form into your feet. You just have to be patient. The last con of the Iron Rangers for me is that these boots right here are, because it epitomized the work boots and I use it for work, it definitely is just a work boots, right? Um, if I wear these shoes to go to a restaurant 
or a nice restaurant, go out and have a nice dinner with my wife. Everybody is staring at my shoes, is staring at my feet because it's dirty, it's scratched up. I mean, yes, I am wearing my work boots. I work on these shoes right here. Even though it's not, it doesn't look as bad right now, it is my work boot. So that is another con of the Iron Ranger. I think it's strictly a work boot and that it's not flexible enough to be any other things, right? All right, now the Thursday boots. This particular boot that I own is made in the USA. The founders of the Thursday company were Americans and they started the, ma the manufacturing company in 2014 in America. And this I bought shortly after that. And, uh, and it was still in the USA. Don't get me wrong, there are boots out there as well as the Red Wing that's made in other countries like China or I don't know, Bangladesh or wherever it is outside of the United States. And I understand that. You just have to be very careful to make sure that you're buying an authentic American shoes if that is what you are into. That's what I'm into. I love my American boots. And that's why I make sure that I bought something that's made in, in America through and through. The next pros of the Thursday boot is that it is a handsome boot with an attitude. You know, it's a cap toe, it's rugged looking, but also made out of this shiny material that's easy to dress up and easily to dress down. You can easily, you can probably wear it with the, with the suit, what I will, you know, wear with the suit to go out and uh, do things with, you know, and then you can easily wear jeans and still look good. Jeans and a sweater, you still look good. You know, it's more of a, like a city lifestyle, city street look. The last one, the last pros of the Thursday boots for me is that there was no break in period when I bought these boots because it's made of very soft material. The first time I got it out of the box, you know, put the uh, the laces on, put it on my on my on my foot, or wore it that day. I did not have any problem. In fact, I wore it for about a week after I bought it. No issues at all. There were no break in period. Now let's go to the cons. I've also picked three cons for the Thursday Captain boots. The first one is, even though it was a pro, it's also a con. The soft leather used in these boots. Because of the soft leather, there was a lot of um, stretching going on in the surface of the boots, especially in the lack of support in the back heel of the shoe. You know, I have a problem now that the back heel of the shoe has bulged out or stretched out that it doesn't support my heel. That's one of the cons, for me anyway, of Thursday Captain Boots. The next con of the Thursday Captain Boots is the soles. You know, the sole is not sturdy. I'm not sure it was made by the Thursday company. It's not, you know, made, uh, it's not a, a material like the Vibram or the Vibram that uh, Red Wing uses. So it is a very soft sole and uh, I feel like it doesn't really support you. I'm not sure how it reacts to oily environment or uh, I've had it in the rain a few times and it did well, but you know, it's just too soft. Everything about it is too soft. It, I don't feel like I'm, I'm supported by the soles. The last con of the Thursday Captain boot is that it is not safe for me, right? It's not, I don't consider this a working boot. It's like a wannabe working boot. And I get it, maybe if you're working in, in an environment outside of a, a garage, for example, or any places where it's oily, dirty, and there's a lot of things that can fall on your foot, uh, give you an example, you know, maybe you're working on something and the carburetor fall on your foot. That could happen, right? Or something heavy falls on your foot. I can guarantee you that the the softness leather on the on the on the cap toe right here is not going to support you. Right? It's gonna hurt compared to what the Iron Ranger provides when it comes to safety. Now, if I have to make a choice, if I don't own both of these boots. You know, if I have to make my choice and I have this information on hand and because it's based on my personal style right now and my lifestyle, I would choose the Iron Rangers. And why would I do that? It's because the Iron Ranger uh, fits into my lifestyle, right? Get into my bike, get into my Harley, going somewhere, coming back, maybe continue to go work in my garage, finish up a project. 
you know, put a jacket on, go out and have a beer somewhere. That's the kind of lifestyle that I do and that I need, I need a pair of boots in which it reflects that kind of lifestyle. So the Iron Rangers reflect that right now. And listen, I'm just providing some information out there based on the boots that I have, based on these two great boots right here. I hope that help you make a decision on which one you would choose Again, based on your personal lifestyle, right? That's what I would base it on. Uh, and then go out and buy it. Whatever you can afford. I hope that helps you. Again, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. There are more videos coming your way on man's style, grooming, a little bit of my cigars, building trucks and motorcycles soon enough. That's all for now. I'll talk to you again later. Stay safe.